So we got a brand new Desert Tech bolt here. This is for the SRS or Covert. Uh, you see it's a telescoping bolt design, so we're going to go over exactly where we need to put some grease in order to keep this thing maintained and running well. Uh, the back of the bolt lugs are the main place where you're going to want to put grease. You can see that there's a flap here as well as a little cam, and you want to make sure that there's grease on those contact points. So just take and put a little grease on the back sides of all six of the bolt lugs. And then on the bottom of the bolt, there's this little notch. Now this notch basically is what locates the bolt when you're running it forward and rearward in the chassis, rides in that aluminum slot in there. And you're gonna want to make sure that that is uh, lubricated a little bit as well. And after time, you'll see the contact points on the bolt start to wear. But initially, uh, I would start with these lubrication points as a good guide. Uh, you can inevitably put some wherever you see the bolt starting to shine up a little bit. Now the bottom here, you'll have the striker, which is uh, the part that's released when the transfer bar allows the sear to move down. This is what flies forward and hits the firing pin, causing the primer to detonate. You can very plainly see if I rotate this in my hand, it will decock the bolt. If I rotate it the other way, it'll cock that bolt, causing that striker to move to the rear. The telescoping design, that's just an aid in functionality in the rifle. So if we decock this, I'll be able to disassemble the bolt a lot easier. In the rear of the bolt, you'll see this square, which is designed to accept Seekonk Tiano torque wrench. That fits right in there. What you want to do is just decock the bolt, hold it firmly, apply a little forward pressure, rotate that back counterclockwise, and the rear of that bolt will come right off. Next, you remove the spring. And then you can remove the striker. So it'll just fly out, fly out the back here. And that piece comes right out of here like so. And then the firing pin, if you put that upside down and just kind of tap it a little bit, the firing pin will come right out. Now if you notice another contact point, we put the striker back in there, you'll notice that it rides along this slot here. Now that's the cam that you feel in order to recock the bolt. It will move like so and recock. So that cam, you can put a little dab of grease along that whole contact area and that'll just help make sure that everything runs smooth. And then of course you can put a very light coat of grease on the outside of, of the uh, striker here. To put the bolt back together, you do the same thing in reverse. We take our firing pin, drop it in there, make sure it gets located into the hole properly. And you can see it coming through the bolt face there. Next we'll grab our bolt body shroud. And the striker, slide them together. Make sure they move freely. Put the spring back in. Grab the rear of the bolt and apply some forward pressure and rotate clockwise and it'll lock into its position and that's it. Bolt is back together.